Hello students, today you're going to take Cornell notes on photosynthesis and this is review because we've talked about photosynthesis before um, so we're just reviewing it in this lesson. Remember these are the kind of notes where you write a summary and advanced question you don't have to draw pictures and you come up with the questions on the left I will say the first one and then you come up with the rest. Are you ready? Let's begin. So photosynthesis, if you don't remember, it was a process in which light, water, and carbon dioxide are turned into glucose, which is sugar. For number one, you can write, what is photosynthesis? Remember that water is H, two H's, and one O, H2O, and then when light hits it or strikes it, um, and the top of the leaves, on the top of the cuticle, the um, water is broken apart and then rearranged, so here's some hydrogen and oxygen, but it rearranges with some carbon, creating a new structure called glucose, which is sugar. So the chemical formula, and we'll talk more about this in 8th grade, but you take 6 um, atoms of carbon, so 6 um, atoms of carbon dioxide, 6 atoms of, high, of, of water, or H2O, they chemically react with the sun to make one atom of glucose, and or one molecule of glucose, and you have 6 atoms of oxygen left over after the reaction. Okay, moving on to number two. The process of photosynthesis happens in the chloroplasts of a cell. So here are the chloroplasts. The chloroplasts are little green discs and they help convert the carbon and the water into um, glucose. In a real plant cell, these are the cell walls. So there's one cell right here. And those little tiny little green bubbles are the chloroplasts. And each one is filled with a uh, chemical called chlorophyll, and that's why they're green, and most of the plant looks green. All right, go ahead and come up with a question for two, and then let's move on to three. All right, ready? Number three. In the plant, photosynthesis happens in the leaves of the plant. So if you were to cut the leaves off of a plant, it would die slowly because it cannot photosynthesize anymore and make food for itself. So the top of the leaf, as we talked about, last time, or the cuticle, this is the waxy part that helps since the light is striking it, the water doesn't evaporate here, um, so it absorbs the light up here, and in the bottom it absorbs the carbon dioxide and also releases the oxygen from the bottom of the leaf. So the leaf is kind of like the lungs where a lot of this process is happening, but it's also where the ingredients are combining to make the glucose for the plant to stay alive. Alright, go ahead and come up with a question for three. All right, let's move on to four, the last idea for today. This is a new idea. Photosynthesis is called an endothermic reaction. So all chemical reactions, including photosynthesis, are either endothermic or exothermic. Endothermic means there's a temperature drop. So when you combine carbon, water, and light, that temperature actually drops inside the leaf very slightly. Okay, go ahead and come up with your question for four, and then start your summary and your advanced questions. Have a good day.